What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are on Beam NG Drive, where today we're going to be messing around with a couple of mods. I've had this video planned for a while, and now this isn't a mod that I was playing around earlier with some recording settings. And it's going to be pretty bad quality, but it, it is what it is. But anyway guys, uh, up here we're going to have, I think it's going to be our... Police mods. I'm also going to tell you what kind of police mods you would want that make your police vehicle look better and sound better, and how to enable them at the same time. So technically, it's a tutorial and showing off the mods that work. So anyway, let's get into this, guys. So of course, first up, let's get into one of our police vehicles, of course. I'm gonna get into a non-modded vehicle just to show you guys that this works on any kind of vehicle. So for this one, we're gonna go for the uh, sunburst. Any police vehicle, possibly just the interceptor, would be good enough for it. So the sunburst interceptor. Uh, hold on, give it a moment, guys. So, hold on. There it is. So this is your base police vehicle. Hopefully the mod is actually enabled for me and works for this car. So this is your uh, original. Pretty baseline, isn't it? Pretty, pretty bad. So then we're going to go to vehicle config. Config. I'm going to go and go down from body. You're going to look to find your hood accessory light bar all right for this vehicle it won't work all right so let's go grab a different one out um it mainly worked for my grand marshal i think it was the grand marshal yes the grand marshal Grab out your interceptor. Doesn't it really doesn't matter? It, it works on modded vehicles sometimes. Yeah, it works on a couple of modded vehicles. I'll show you which vehicles they do work on and do not work on. So anyway, once you've gotten your vehicle out, you go back over to vehicle config. Gonna drop down frame. Then gonna go down to body. Gonna drop down body. Once again gonna look for roof accessory now here your emergency lighting system depending on what you want I'm going to teach you how to set up your ELA like normal uh, lighting system so you're gonna click on that it'll take a moment to load in and there you've got lighting you've got better lighting and then you're gonna go to your search bar here you're gonna type in skid no skirt no. Ah, uh, side, side, side. You're gonna look for side. Then you're gonna look for side runners. For these, this is for down here. So you can either have your divided, which looks something of the liking, like that. And then you can have your full length, which has the liking of this all right so that's your realistic police lights right here your RPL so you just go into your repository look in realistic police lights and that should be one of the first things you see I'm gonna go back down to vehicles no you're not you're gonna go down to UI you're gonna go to the top here you're gonna go add app all right so once that you're going to look for improved sign mod presets which you'll put anywhere on your screen that you find good enough for you you're going to go back to adding now you don't have to put it there but it makes the it makes it a bit easier to show you what you've been doing what you're using so there press your tick and you've got that down here. 
So you can either have some keybinds. I've got some keybinds. And then you get that. I don't know if you can hear the beeping. Let me turn up the game volume here. You should be able to hear the beep. And the click. Which is a lot more realistic than it used to be, which is just no sounds whatsoever. Alright, so you hover over here, and that should come up. You have options from empty, all the way down to fire instantly, like that. Now, you see, my favorite one is the Sencon Rumbler, because, you know, this is how it sounds. You can either have your keybind, so RTY is what I use, even though my T doesn't work, so you can have it as toggle. So, those are your keybinds. And then you have your warn and then your pawn. So, yeah. Then, of course, this is what it looks like when it's working. Okay, I don't know how to reverse. Give me a moment here. So as you guys can see, it has a lot better difference when you have the uh, RPL activated. Because that looks a lot more like in real life than it would in uh, in the game itself with the normal lighting. So as you come down here, you can now start speeding up. You can hear it in the background as you're speeding off. Now, a lot of you guys may not have a steering wheel, uh, myself, I don't have a steering wheel. The best way to have smooth turning, as well as just to keybind your mouse to be, to be your, uh, you know, uh, your steering. You can see my cursor as I'm turning a lot. So that's your, that's your basic police modding right there basic police mods easy to access free to use so now you might be wondering what does it look like to have an undercover vehicle or a slick top so then you just come over to your vehicle configuration again I'm gonna drop it down if you want it undercover you can still use the uh, emergency lighting system and it will come up with another one but undercover which will take the light bar off the top of your vehicle like so so now, with your livery, you just have a uh, slick top. Then you're going to drop it down, then empty. You know how you now have an undercover police vehicle. So then again, you're going to go down here. It uh, doesn't matter what skin you're using, I'm using Sheriff right now. Look at that, just nice and cool. Slick top. And then this is what your lighting looks like. Sure, what sign is that? I have no idea what sign that is. I don't think it's Mastercom. Well, Mastercom's pretty good. You even have uh, CHP sirens, which is California Highway Patrol. So if you want to make that more realistic, maybe look for some CHP, some CHP uh, skins. So yeah. Now you may be thinking this looks a lot like GTA. This is Beam and G, guys. This is you can do with Beam and G. You have a lot of flexibility, a lot of flexibility when you are playing this game. Now it's time to move on to your modded vehicles. Now I'd say one of the best vehicles for like pitting is the Police RS Push Bar with pit add-on. So let it load in. It's gonna have shot with no livery right away, but you can already see that it has a lot bigger of a push bar, which wrap it's wrap around. So you can easily fix the no no wrap on it by going there, going to your paint design, dropping it down to, and then giving it whatever you can as a police livery. For me, I'm just gonna use the Belasco County livery, which will give me the Sheriff County. Alright, so once that's done, you can drop that down. 
And now, of course, it's it's easy, easy to fix, easy to do. Uh, you can change the engine, but of course, I keep it at my 2.0 L uh, liter engine. All right, so then you go to your livery. Okay, so this doesn't have it, so we're gonna drop that one. But yeah, as you can see, that's how you do it, like that. I'm gonna go back to Grand Marshal, and then you're gonna have. And then I have my modded ones up here, my D, my uh, State Police, FBI. For this one might not as customize FBI. So we're gonna go do that. This is a completely modded vehicle. It's not. You will not be able to find this in your main menu. You will have to mod this one in, which again is easy. You can either find it on the BMG sites. Or you can find it in the repository. So you're gonna go down to your vehicle configuration. All right, so there, you've got your FBI police skin. Drop down frame. All right, then again, this one you can actually customize the engine. Six point nine. If you want a high pursuit, give it the strongest engine you can get. You can already hear a difference if you can hear that. All right, then you're gonna drop it down and then find the roof accessory. And then you're gonna find the lighting system. For this one, I'm just gonna give it the normal lighting system because, oh, you know what? No, you know what? We're gonna give it the undercover. So usually it does have the side runners on it already, like pre on it. If it doesn't, then just look up side and it should come up. Especially and your side flashes, which is inside your windows, which I think I enabled. Yep. So yeah, that's that. And then, I don't know what time would really mar uh, match FBI, maybe this one? Yeah, the signal, the Federal Signal MS4000 is probably the one to go with if you're using an FBI skin. Listen to it. Let me turn the volume up here. So yeah, that's what it's like uh, for the police. Now you haven't seen me move much at all, so let's bring it. Let's make this at some sort of night of time. Let's make it like that. Dark. Uh, let's give it a bit of fog. Maybe a bit of cloud coverage as well. All right. All right. So then we're gonna turn our lights on. Normal lighting. Oh, hold on. My PC lagged out real bad. Not liking it with the recording. <laughs> uh, all right. So, but for me, I've got my uh, keypad plus as my lighting system. As you can already see, that looks a lot better. Like, look at it. So that was today's video, playing around with mods and telling you how to set up certain mods for police vehicles. Next video is going to be me playing around with AI, um, having fun doing pursuits and all. But until next time, guys, this is Game Slayer 12, and we're going to be I'm going to be out of here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, turn those post notifications on, and until next time, enjoy your day.